Uh, oh. uh, here we go. Uh, we didn't have that many to do. Uh, one, so we just want to find the measurement. So we want A, B. Oh, thank God. Not so the triangle. So this is what they're asking. What does this guy measure? So we have two sides and an angle. So like we said in class, we can go, <coughs> if you want to label this, this is little A, this is little C, this is little B. So it's going to be C squared equals <coughs> A squared plus B squared minus 2, and you multiply those two, times cosine of the angle, which is 41. That's it. All right, so we substitute C squared, which is the side we want. A is 29, B is 13 squared, and then we do minus 2 times 29 times 13 times cosine of 41. You apparently can put all that in your calculator. Um, I won't, but you can. So I'll just do this, you know, I'll write it. And then 13 squared is 169. And that's probably going to give us some ugly numbers. That's 2 times 29 times 13 times second function prime cosine 41. Enter, we get 569.05 and so forth and so forth. So you leave that in your calculator, okay? So now I'm going to do 841 plus 169 plus that ugly number. Enter, and enter again, we get C squared equals 1579.05 dot dot dot. dot. I'm going to take the square root of both sides and C. Take the square root of that side and C equals 39.74. I know it says read nearest tenth, but you know, uh, I'm always used to the hundreds. So that's it. So that's what side C measures. Okay, so now the next one, right? So I'm going to label the triangle that's angle A, so that makes this little a, this makes little c, and this makes it little b. So we have two sides in that angle. So A, which BC, which is this side over here, which is what we want, right? Um, we're going to go A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine of 90. A squared, we don't know. B squared is 17. Uh, C squared is 28 squared. Oops, sorry. Oops. 28 squared. Minus 2 times 17 times 21, 28 cosine 90. Again, I'll do this in steps. We get 289 plus 28 to the second power, which is 784. Minus all that stuff there. 2 times 17 times 28 times second function, uh, 4. Oops. 2 times 17 times 28 times the function. Cosine is 2, 91, enter. We're going to get a negative number. Right, so it's negative 16.614. Right, that's the number in your calculator. So now let's do 289 plus 784. Minus that number, right? If you subtract minus, so you subtract a negative number, it's actually adding a positive. So we're going to get that a squared, all that's going to equal to 1089.61 continued. Square root of both sides, and a, the square root, is 33 point something. 33.01 actually. And the rounding is the nearest hundredth, it's going to be 33.01. Um, sorry, sorry, I just got to charge the laptop. Um, one second, please. Uh, 
All right, so we did one and three. I got sorry. I gotta figure out which is next. So next um, deck is number seven and ten. Okay. So seven is asking us to find angle A. So we have three sides, and we want this angle right here. So you now we're gonna have to use the inverse at some point. All right. So that. Is going to be so. Let me label this little a, little b, little c. So we have <coughs> a squared equals b squared plus c squared um, minus two times b times c cosine of angle a. All right. So a we don't know. Actually, a we do know. Apologies. Fourteen squared. B squared is nine squared and then c squared would be 6 squared minus 2 times 9 times 6 cosine of angle a. <coughs> 14 squared is 196 equals 81 plus 36 minus and I'm going to multiply 2 times 9 times 6 it's going to give us 108 cosine a. I think this treat this as a variable, like a 108x. So think about the steps that we have to do. All right, so let's add combined like terms. So we're gonna add 81 plus 36, and that's gonna give us 117 minus 108 times cosine of a. Let's subtract minus 117 from both sides. Um, this goes away. 196 minus 117 equals 79. Um, minus 108 cosine of a. So let's divide both sides by negative 108. Negative 108. Um, that goes away. We have cosine of a. Let me just divide that. 79 divided by uh, 79 divided by negative 108 equals this ugly number. Negative 0 0.73148 dot dot dot. We're going to use the inverse function, so it's going to be angle A equals cosine, inverse cosine of negative 0 0.73148 dot dot dot. So, second function pi, which is the inverse cos, is number 5 in the calculator. We're going to enter that number, enter, so press enter again, and our angle is 137.01 degrees. And that's what this angle here is. 137.01. Where are we now? We just did 7, so I think the next one is 10. Next one is 10. I think it's 10. Yeah. Next one is 10. 10 is right here at the bottom. And we have, we want angle C. We want this angle here. Oh boy. Um, hmm. We might have to use law of sines, um, law of cosines. Hang on. Um, 101. I get this side. Yeah, I'm going to use, use cosines to find little b. And then I'm going to use law of sines to find angle C. So let's see what. So let's go for uh, for side B. So let's find sine B. It's B squared equals, and let me write this, little a, little c. B squared is a squared plus c squared minus 2ac. And then cosine of 101. Okay, so B squared, I don't know. A squared is 29 squared. 
So it's 24 squared minus 2 times 29 times 24 cosine 101. So let's find that out. So p squared 29 to the second power is 841 plus 24 to the second power is 576. Let's multiply this thing. 2 times 29 times 24 times cosine cosine of 1 and 1. And we're going to get negative, and I'll put that in again, negative 265.61. Well, I'm not rounding this, remember, so we're leaving that. I'm just writing this for you to know. Dot, dot, dot. B squared, so let me add 841 plus 576 minus negative, so minus that number that was there, and I end up getting 1,682.606122. We take the square root of both sides, and we're going to get that little b is about 41.02. All right, so I'm going to write that little b as 41.02. Now that I have that, I can use law of sines. Um, actually, I don't. I can use uh, law of cosines again. Um, right? I wonder if that's easier. Hang on a second. Um, I have two b's, c's. I have. It, it actually doesn't matter. Really, that you could use law of cosines again because you have. So this problem will be like the previous problem where you had all three sides and you're looking for this angle. You can do that. I wonder if that's easier. Um, or you can use law of sines. But this, the question here says use law of sines, law, sorry, law of cosines. So let's just stick to that. So I'm going to redraw the triangle, right? So I'm going to redraw the problem so that we don't get confused. Okay, so the same triangle. This is B, this is A, and this is C. This is 24. This is this is 24, this is 29, and this we just found out is 41.02. Now, now, let me label this correctly. So this is little c, little a, little b. All right, so I'm looking for this angle right here, and I'll put it in red. All right, so I can use log cosines. So we're going to use, well, I'll shade it. So we're going to use all three of these, right? We're going to use this. Oops. We're going to use this guy here this guy here, this guy, and we're going to do cosine of angle C. So look for it from this angle. So it's going to be C squared. Uh, let me, C squared equals A squared plus B squared, right? Minus 2AB times cosine of angle C, which I don't know. That's what we're doing to find angle C right here. So C squared, we do know, uh, is 24 squared. A squared is, what's A, 29 squared. What's B, 41.02 squared minus 2 times 29 times 41.02 cosine of C. That's what you want. 24 squared. And again, you could have used law signs. 576. 29 squared is 841. Plus 41.02 squared is... 1,682.64, I'm going to use that, minus, and let me multiply that, 2 times 29 times 41.02, enter, we're going to get 2,379.16 cosine of C. So, <clears throat> let's combine some like terms, so we get 576, let's combine these two guys here. 841 plus 1682.64 equals 2523.64 minus, I'm going to change colors because it's going to get confusing, minus 2379.16 cosine of C. So let's subtract minus 2,523.64 from both sides. Right, so this goes away. 
um, let's do 2,523.64 minus 576. It's going to give us 1,000, negative 1,947.64 equals negative 2,379.16 cosine of C. I will erase this because we don't need it. I need more room. So we're going to bring that up here. So we're going to divide both sides now by. So we're going to go 1,947. 64 divided by negative 2379.16 equals negative 2379.16 cosine of sorry yeah, cosine of c divided by so I'm dividing both sides by 2379 right that's what I'm doing so that goes away so cosine of c that it's gonna just turn into some really ugly number 1947 0.64 divided by 2379.16 equals, and in your calculator you should have this ugly number here, 8625061 dot dot dot, so we're going to take the inverse of cosine, right, so we're going to go cosine inverse, and we'll put that number there, 8186250061 dot dot dot, and let's see what we get, second function of pi, inverse cosine, number 5, Bring that in there, and our angle is 35. Angle C finally is 35.05 degrees. Rounded. Okay, rounded. Okay. Yeah, so that took a little bit of work. But again, like I said in class, nothing that at all difficult. Just work. Um what else do we have? Look at this. Then we have, it looks like 20, 15 and 16. Okay, so 15 and 16 are asking us to solve the triangle. Yuck. All right, so this is gonna be a while. So we can then use a combination of lost signs and then, so cosines and then lost signs. So here, for this one, right? Let's call this little b, this is little c, and this is little uh, a. All right, so we're going to use the cosine of 88. In order to do that, it's b squared equals a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cosine of b. b squared, I don't know, so that is my unknown. a is 17, so 17 squared plus 30 squared minus 2 times 17 times 30 cos of angle 88. So I'm gonna put, you know what, I'm gonna do what you guys did. I'm gonna put the whole thing in the calculator. Let's save time. So b squared, and let's see what number I get there. So 17 squared plus 30 squared minus 2 times 17 times 30 times cosine of 88. Yuck. Oh, look at that. It does give me so that all becomes 1,153.40, dot, dot, dot. I'm going to leave that number. We're going to take the square root of both sides. And we finally have that little b. Okay. Little b is square root. Little b is 33.96. So I'm going to write here 33. And now we can solve for the triangle. So this was actually a little C. So if you do law of sines and you do A sine of angle A, B sine of angle B, and then C sine of angle C, well, let's replace this. So A I know is 17. Angle A I don't know, so I'll leave that alone. B I have both values. I know that this is 33.96, and angle B is 88. And C, Little c I know is 30, but angle c I don't know. There. Let's use these two fellows here. Cross multiply that. If you cross multiply and you get 17 sine of 88 equals sine of angle A times 33.96. Right? So we're going to divide both sides by 33.96 because this wants to go away. So let's figure that out. And we're going to take the inverse sine. So let's figure what that out. 
um, 17 times sine of 88 divided by 33.96 is going to give us this ugly number 0 0.5 half right 0 0.5 0, 0, 0, 2, 8, dot 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 we're going to take the inverse function of that so angle a equals 0.500028 continue right in your calculator so second function pi inverse sine is number four and that's going to give us that the angle angle a is a prox 30.02 so let's go back to this triangle and i can write that this angle here is 30.02 now if i have two angles out of three it makes my life easier 180 minus 88 minus 30.02 Zero 02. Finally, angle C is 61.98. That was that's easy problem, right? We're good. 15, and I think 6. Uh, I should minimize this. And then 16 was next. All right, so 16 again. I don't have any of the angles, so the first thing we're going to do is use law of cosines to find one of the angles, and then we'll use law of sines. So let's work on this angle. Let me just label this a little b, a, and c. Okay. Low cosine, if I want to find angle b, it's going to be little b equals a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cosine of angle b. I have everything but the angle. So it's going to be, let's be squared. 18 squared equals 10.4 squared plus c squared, which is 21.9 minus 2 times 10.4 times 21.9 times cosine of 4. All right, so little calculator. So we're going to get 324 equals 10.4 to the second power, which is 108 and 16, plus 21.9 to the second power, which is 479.61 minus, and let's multiply 2 times 10.4 times 21.9 and we're going to get 455 52 cosine of B. Okay. <clears throat> we can combine these two 108.16 plus 479.61 it's 587.77 <clears throat> minus 455.52 cosine of B. Change colors here. So we're going to subtract minus 587.77 both sides. Be careful because you're going to get a negative answer. That goes away. Minus 324 equals 263. So negative 263.77 equals negative 455.52 cosine of angle B that we want to find. Let's divide both sides by 455.52. <clears throat> that goes away, so I'm going to bring this over here. 263.77 divided by 455.52 is going to give us a really ugly number, so it's going to get 0 0.57905. I'm going to write dot, 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 because I'm not going to write everything. Cosine of angle B. You want to find angle B? I'm going to take the inverse of cosine, inverse function of cosine negative 1, uh, sorry, cosine <coughs> inverse function of, function of cosine, so, and then 0 0.57905, dot, 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 uh, about, la, 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 cosine is number 5, that's that. and our angle is 54, angle B is 54.62 degrees. So angle B over here, and I'll write 54.62. All that <laughs> just to find angle B. Right, now we can use law of sines. Okay, so I'm gonna set up law of sines. Okay. <clears throat> so now that we have that, we're gonna use law of sines. I mean, I guess you can do um, well, cosines three times. I don't know if that's a more efficient way. So we have a 
a which is 10.4 over sine of a b which is 18 over sine of b and c which is where's the little c right here 21.9 over cosine of sorry 54.62 so we're going to use these two first, or A or B, it doesn't matter, A or B. Cross multiply to find angle B, so let's cross multiply that. We get 21.9 sine of angle B equals 18 times sine of 54.62. We're going to divide both sides by 21.9, right? That goes away, divide this side by 21.9. So let's figure that so we get 18 times sine of 54.62 divided by 21.9. That's going to give us this number here, 0.670134 dot dot dot. This the inverse sine, so angle B, inverse sine 0.670134 dot 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 inverse sine okay and our angle is 42.08 degrees rounded of course so I can go back to my triangle and tell you that angle not angle B this was angle uh, what the heck oh no I used the wrong so kindly ignore all this because I used the wrong one. So 10.4 over sine of A, 18 over 54. Uh, so forget all that. Oh my God. I, mean, I, I set up my proportions incorrectly. So it's. So B is 18. Angle B is sine of 54.62. Yikes. And then C. Little c is 21.9 and sine of angle c that I don't know. Oh, uh, it is what it is. All right, so cross multiply again. 18 sine of angle c, which I don't know, equals 21.9 times sine of 54.62. Right? I'm going to divide both sides by 18 and let's isolate sine of c for now. So let's, uh, 21.9 times 54.62 divided by 18. Okay, we're almost, what the heck. 21.9, 21.9 times sine of 54.62. 1.9 times twenty one point nine times sine of fifty four point sixty two divided by eighteen. Jeez. All right, so we get zero point nine nine one nine eight four dot 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 inverse sine. 0 0.991984 dot dot dot. Let's see what that equals. And that's going to give us that angle C is 82.74 degrees. So we can come over here and write that, ang that angle is 82.74. So I have three angles, and to find angle A, we're going to do 180. Minus 82.74 minus 54.62. 180 minus uh, 180 minus 82.74 minus 54.62. Enter. Angle A equals 42.64 approx degrees. And there's something wrong here. I got 54.6 correct, but according to the answer, did I set it up wrong? <clears throat> 
10.4 over sine of a, 18 over 54.6, that's correct, and then 21.9 of angle C, so what did I do wrong? I have to double check, guys. So, 21.9 plus multiply times sine of 54.62 divided by 18, that seems correct. Okay, and then I need to find the inverse sine, right? Oh, shoot. Inverse sine of my answer not matching one second please fifty four point six two is correct and that's for B eighteen point four did I multiply something wrong? times sine of C, which I don't know. So I'm leave it correctly. That's B. Not A, that's okay. I'm gonna stick to this unless you guys find and tell me what I did incorrectly here. I just can't see, can't see it. Um, it's not matching the answer on the on the sheet here. Um, what did I do wrong? Ten point four over sine of a equals eighteen over sine of fifty four point sixty two. It's okay, and then C, which is 21.9 over sine C, which I don't know, okay, cross multiply, 21.9 times sine of 54.62, okay, I'm gonna either come back to this, okay, and do it later, but so I'm gonna move on to the next two questions, I'm not too sure what. It's incorrect there. Um, we have two more. Now you're eagerly awaiting. So we had 19 and 24. Oh. Okay, so 19. I'm going to actually copy this. Let me do it this way. Um, 19. That's 19. I'm going to create the triangle. We have a triangle ABC, A, it doesn't matter, ABC. This is 14, little a. Little b here, which is opposite, opposite of angle b, is 9. And little c is 6 centimeters. So we want to complete the triangle, solve for the triangle. <clears throat> and let's see if I can do this one correctly. So we're going to go for angle a. So angle A is going to be A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine of angle A. So A is 14 squared equals B squared, which is 9. C squared is 6 squared. Didn't I just do this problem? Minus 2B, two, 2 times 9 times 6 cosine of A. That's two, 2 times 9 times 6, cosine. So 14 squared is 196. This is 81 plus 36 minus 108, 
full sign of it. Are these numbers very familiar? Um, so 81 plus 36 is 117. I'm swear to God I just did this. Yes, Fourteen nine and six. All right. Well, minus one hundred eight cosine of a. So we're going to do minus one seventeen on both sides. One ninety six minus one seventeen is nine. Uh, one ninety six minus one seventeen is seventy nine. Equals negative one hundred eight cosine of a. We're going to divide both sides by negative one hundred eight. And then let me bring this up. Again, get cosine of a equals some negative decimal number, 79 divided by 108. All right, so we got to get negative 0 0.7314 dot dot dot. Let's get the inverse cosine. 0 0.7314 dot dot dot. We're going to get our angle bothered by the previous question. And our angle is 137 degrees. Angle A, 137.01. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here and write 137.01. Now, let's see. Now I'm gonna use law of signs, which you can, right? I wonder if it's easier to use law of signs. I mean, So you have a choice. You can repeat the same thing we just did here for find angle B, the same thing to do angle C, or you can do law of sines. I'm not too sure which one has less or more efficient. So, but I'm going to do law of sines because we also need to work on that. So it's A sine of A, 137.01, little b, which is 9, sine of b, which I don't know, angle b, and little c, which is 6, sine of angle C, which I don't know. We're going to do these two first. Uh, let's cross multiply. We're going to get 14 sine of angle B equals 9 times sine of 137.01. I'm going to isolate sine of B, so I'm going to divide this by 14 and divide that by 14. So let's isolate that and then take the inverse sine and find our angle. So 9 times 137.01 over 14, and that's uh, <clears throat> 9 times 137.01 over 14, enter, you get 0 0.4383 dot dot dot, let's take, find, find angle B, Inverse sine. So second function, the inverse sine is four. Enter. And our angle is rounded 26 degrees. Okay. So angle B is now 26 degrees. So once I have two angles, we can easily find angle C by subtracting from 180. So 180 minus 137.0. 26, 180 minus 137.1 minus 26 equals 16.99. Maybe law science is easier. Okay. Um, you choose. And then we have one more, which was. Twenty-four. Okay. Twenty-four. Take a picture. Right, so, I draw right up uh, triangle. This one's called RPQ. So triangle RPQ. Oops. RPQ. And we know that little p, which is here, is 18. Angle r, which is here, is 17 degrees. And little q, which is here, is 28. 
I don't know what y. So I have two angles, so, so I have, sorry, two sides and an angle. Uh, so we're going to do r squared is going to be p squared plus q squared minus 2pq cosine of angle r, which is 17 degrees. Substitute r squared equals, um, what is this, p squared, 18 squared plus 28 squared. 2 times 18 times 28 cosine of 17. Alright, so this one is nice because I can put the whole thing in the calculator. So 18 squared plus 28 squared minus 2 times 18 times 28 times cosine of 18 squared plus 28 squared minus 2 times 18 times 28 times cosine of 17. Enter. You get 144. And I get something close to 12. Take the square root, take the square root. R equals 12. 12. So R is 12. Okay, so do that for find now that we have enough information we can say r sine of angle r p little, sorry little p sine of angle p and little q sine of big q proportion but substitute so we get 12 sine of 17 little p is 18 sine P, Q is 28 sine of Q. Right, so I'm going to use these two. I'm going to find angle P. And then we're almost done. 12 times sine of angle P equals 18 times sine of 17. We're going to divide this by 12. Divide this by 12. That goes away. Sine of angle P. Let's multiply that. So 18 times... 17 over 12, so that's going to give us this number, All right? And then I'm going to use the inverse sign to find my angle P. 0.43855 dot, and angle P is, let's do that. Enter, enter, 26 degrees, 26.01. So angle P is 26.01. Which means this remaining angle is going to be 180 minus 17 minus 26.01. It's going to give us 136.91. Yeah. Except for that one that I, I think I messed up somewhere. For 16, that's the word for today.